Hi everybody, welcome back to Prison Architect. That's right, again, we're here. We're inside our women's prison with all of the ladies uh, doing their stuff. Look, a lot of them are working in the laundry room right now, which is nice. Um, I think, actually, come to think of it, yeah, it looks like that is only for Minsec, okay? Minsec are working in the laundry room, and of course they'll have no access to the rest of the uh, prison to, to deliver the stuff. Which is, you know, fine for now, I guess. But I think we probably need to have a laundry room for each separate area. Uh, like, you know, uh, normal sec is going to need their own laundry room so they can do the laundry, have more jobs. Uh, max sec, we're going to make them a laundry room. We said we were going to do that last time. We now have max sec isolated on in its own little island, which maybe is not needed. But you know what? It's kind of cool at the same time. So great. Perfect. All right. It is currently eat time uh, for the entire prison. Drills and hammers are being found on inmates going through the uh, metal detectors. We haven't done a shakedown in a while, so let's start with shakedown. Nice. Okay, we have lots of places to search. All of our guards are going to be taxed to the max. We can probably do with having a couple more guards. Let's get like five more guards. Great. That takes us up to 60. We want to have people who aren't actually doing anything right now so that the prison can still function whilst we're searching uh, 1,267 places. Um, it looks like we're not finding too much. We seem to be, like, on top of contraband, uh, by the looks of it. Like, we found one drill and a hammer. Two, two, um, pints of beer as well. Screwdriver. You know, the usual lighter, a pack of cigarettes. A, uh, heroin needle as well. But that's all, like, pretty common fare around here, I guess. Uh, it looks like some people are getting released as well. And, uh, I guess while this is all happening, we can get back to the task at hand, which was dismantling the old max sec. Because, uh, it is really just the fucking pits, isn't it? Like, we missed a toilet as well. There's just, like, one lone toilet here still left somehow. Let's get rid of this here. Get rid of this, like, canteen. This is just gonna be made into another canteen at some point anyway, but still, we'll get rid of it. Let's also dismantle all these objects, like this CCTV camera, the lone toilet as well. We're gonna have to make sure we get that. We'll get this radiator too. There's lone toilet can go. Um, and then we're gonna wanna start getting rid of all this stuff here. Look, I'm just gonna, like, brush over all this stuff and hopefully we'll dismantle all of it. Uh, because we're going to, uh, reuse this stuff for a, a new expanded normal sec um, wing. Yeah, we're gonna build it out, and we're probably gonna fill this up with normal sec as well. We're gonna have to move this power generator too at some point. Uh, I'm not sure when though. Well, we'll think about it. We'll do it when the time is right. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this yard. It looks like we're, we're going for like a no yard setup inside this prison. Which I don't think is necessarily a terrible thing, you know? There's a lot- it's a huge prison, so just walking. I know- I mean, if we gave these guys, like, um... Like a phone, but without, like, a SIM, okay? We gave- we're- The idea is that we're gonna give these ladies cell phones without SIM cards in them, okay? So they can't make calls, but they can benefit from prison app 2.0. That's right, we're gonna put an app on their phone that lets them do stuff, like book out parole meetings, they can also uh, have like that like heart monitor on, on their phone as well. We'll put GPS on it so that we know where the phones are at all times so that nobody's like, you know, accidentally like hiding them in their vaginas and stuff like that. Uh, it can measure how many steps they take in a day. It's all part of a new grant that doesn't exist in the game, which uh, aims to keep prisoners fit. That's right. We don't want any obese prisoners. Also, it looks like, disgustingly, we found a wooden pickaxe. Which sucks, because that means now we're gonna have to go through the motions of searching every goddamn toilet here. Look, we have to search all these toilets to make sure there's no tunnels, okay? We have to search this toilet, we're gonna have to search this toilet as well. Because where pickaxe exists, normally a tunnel exists as well. And I'm betting it's in Minsec, and you know what? If it's not in Minsec, it'll definitely be in normal sec. And then you know what? There's two pickaxes. I mean, further on from that, maybe it's max sec, but I doubt it because they've just moved into new digs here. So it, it seems unlikely, but you never know, okay? Anyway, uh, we can continue ripping down all these walls as well now that all of these items are going. So let's rip down all of these walls. Uh, we're going to rip down these walls as well because they don't need to be here anymore. We're just going to have this great big open space for long, which is pretty good. How's visitation going? Uh, I think it's okay. I think our capacity for visitors right now is is not bad. Uh, visitation, 
We'll probably have to set up something separate for MaxSec because we don't want them leaving MaxSec ever, okay? Like we made this staff area here. Yes, the chief? According to some of our guards, a new radio host on the station the prisoners listen to has been saying a lot of things that are riling... Uh, the inmates up, okay? It might be worth removing the radios for the time being unless they start to take what he's saying seriously, okay? Uh, the current radio broadcaster is getting our inmates <coughs> riled up, apparently. Fuck. I don't know where there's radios. This prison is gigantic. Where the fuck are all the radios? We have to get rid of radios? Okay. Are they in the staff room? Did we put a radio in the staff room? Is that the problem? No, only TVs in that staff room anyway. Did we put a radio, like, in this staff room accidentally? Doesn't look like it, okay. Um, is there a radio like in this canteen somewhere? Have we set up like a radio? No, there's just two TVs there. Oh man, I wish there was like an easier way to find radios. There's a TV in this staff room, but it doesn't look like there's a radio. So are we okay then? There's no radios? Oh, what's wrong here, Taylor? There's no free cells for Taylor? What? All of the family cells are occupied currently? That's impossible. Oh, shit. You know what? Somebody came up with a great idea the other day. I was reading it, uh, talking about the jail, saying that we should just have, like, because family, like, like mothers, like the mothers with childs barely get up to no good, right? Um, it's worth just having, like, a shared area. Look, we're going to search all these toilets as well. Uh, it's worth just having, like, a shared family area, which I'm thinking that, like, after Normsec is done, we could maybe just put, like, a shared family area here. So it could be for anybody, right? Normsec, uh, Minsec, Maxsec, it doesn't matter. They can all coexist in this family area. And then when it's time to go off to like the places they need to go to, they just go. Like that would be pr probably pretty good, I'm guessing, right? Like, should we do that? I'm thinking that that might be a good idea. Like, I'm not like, I'm not the best with uh, the women's prisons because I've, this is the first one I've ever built, okay? I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. One, two, three, four, five. So if we did that, one, two, three, four, five, like that, okay? And then we have like, um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, because I think they have to be five by five, right? One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, four. Oh, God, it fits perfectly. Holy crap. Fits like a glove. Don't shove. I can't believe it. One, two, three, four, five. So it'd have to go up like this. So this is the line here where we could fit like cells all the way down. Blow them in down. That's crazy. Okay, but we need like some access for them to get out of their cells though too. Like we... It's fair, it's fine having it, like, fit perfectly in this area, which, don't get me wrong, that's great. It's like a dream come true. It never happens. Like, normally there's, like, some little nubbin somewhere that just doesn't fit or whatever. But, like, man, I'm so tempted to actually do this. This, like, this could be my crowning achievement, actually. So we get, like, family cells in there. Uh, we'd need, like, some sort of pathway for them to get into here. So we'd have, like, a, a three... And then we'd have like this, and it would have to go like one, two, three, four, five, and would have to fit like that. Okay, so that's like our other wing there of family cells. What do we necessarily have to have three? I mean, we could bust it down to two, but you know what? Like already, I am like super on board for this one. Like this could be, this could be something truly special. Like holy shit. Um, okay, so that is wait one, two, three, four, five. Wait, that's six. That's not even. What the shit am I doing? Okay, it's got to be here, right? Because that... I screwed it up. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Already I've screwed it up. The planning only, though. At least it was just the planning and not the actual, like, proper thing, right? So we'd have to have, like, a big hallway coming down here. This hallway is a little bit too big, I feel. Uh, one... So one, two, three, four, five. So that would be like that. We'd have, like, other cells are available here, like that. But I'm not, like, thrilled about the big hallway. Okay, but, I mean, so far, so good. This is working. And actually, I think this is better capacity than we currently have for family cells. Right? Am I right when I say that? I think I'm probably right. Um, okay, so we have, like, a hallway, a hallway, and then we would connect up, like... Hang on a second. One, two, three, four... Okay, no. We couldn't get another one in, sadly. Uh, would we even be able to get cells in? I mean... It's good use of space, but it's not incredible use of space, right? Like, we'd have to have, like, a gap here, and then it would have to go, like, up to... It would not, it would not fit, okay? I don't know what we'd even be able to fit in here. Like, we'd have to have, like, a, a, a two-spacing. Maybe, like, some more solitary cells or something? I'm not sure. 
maybe this is not the space for it or maybe doing it like down along the bottom like that is not the right way to do it either maybe just like it have come down like the side or something i'm not sure but all i know is that i've wasted a lot of time planning something that i'm likely not to do not likely to do now which kind of sucks uh in the meantime though forty-five thousand bucks in the bank which is pretty nice this this fucking prison honestly is just running itself at this point like i don't even need to do shit like, it's incredible, isn't it? It just works. Holy crap. Okay, one, two, three, four. We're back to planning. Look, we're gonna try it from the side this time, okay? We're gonna try it like this. One, two, three, four, five. And see if this works out better. Because it might actually work out better. It might fit better. It might fit like a glove don't shove, which is ideally what we're always striving for. We want everything to fit like a glove and, and also don't shove, okay? Because I think that's the ideal scenario for us. So this comes to here, and then, we're, again, we're, we're sort of, like, stuck with this space here, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. Like, I think, it, I think generally, we want to, like, probably fill this area up with just more cells, and then maybe make, like, a... Maybe this could just be, like, a big family wing over here, or we could just make, like, a separate wing for it instead, and then just use this space instead to, like, have a gigantic battery of, like... I don't know, like normal sec or something like that, right? How big are these? One, two, three, four, f okay, so they're five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's like this, and it would go all the way to like, say, here, I guess. And then we could like have like another big bank of cells. I think normal sec is probably where we'd make like the most money because they, they do get released on parole, which is pretty nice. And also, um, they're worth a little bit more on intake too, right? So overall, I think they probably work out the best. They stick around a bit longer, so they can do like general education and crap like that, which is also pretty good. So what's this? One, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's like to there. Okay, so that's like another big bank of, oh my god, this is insane. Holy shit, our prison population. I think cell block D is a very realistic prospect at this point, right? Like this is pretty damn good. We're going to have, like, capacity for way over uh, the amount of prisoners we need. I wonder if we could just, like, maybe even not have the family area be that big. Like, maybe just fit it into here instead now that we've got, like, this other bank. Wait a second. These are, like, smaller cells, aren't they? Because we've gone for... Oh, that's right. Normal sec have the bookcases, and then we've opted for, like, smaller cells on this side uh, for the sake of it actually fitting all in together and us having these, like, nice hallways and stuff as well, right? Okay, well that's fine. We could probably just about do that. We'll get like some cells to here, to here, here, here. It sounds like somebody is being majorly tased down here. Oh yeah, it's Pennington again. Pennington is now injured and having a fight with a guard. Okay, Vivian Pennington, a legendary prisoner at the age of 37. Obviously uh, not too happy and fighting. That's Okay, I guess. At least we've knocked her out and she'll just have to, like, go into solitary for a bit. Our new and improved solitary that doesn't even have lights in here. Okay, we're going to install some lights because we don't want these ladies sleeping on the floor. We want to keep it lit in there so that they stay up and they have to, like, actually be responsible for their actions. Okay, because holy crap, that's the worst. Like, if there's something I hate more in this world than anything else, it's when people don't actually... Um, have to like take into account their actions, right? Like th that that feels bad, doesn't it, when that happens? So, for for the sake of all of the prisoners in here, we're gonna make her stand in a well lit room uh, by herself uh, and not sleep or go to the toilet or anything. Okay, I think that that is like a, an appropriate punishment for having a rumble with one of our guards, for Christ's sake, because man, you can't just be rumbling the guards like all the time. That's the worst. Like who? Why would you have a rumble with a guard? I wonder if we can actually fit. Hang on a second here. Look, we can do this, you know. No, we can't. Okay, this has to be a hallway because this doesn't line up properly. Although we could make it line up properly. We could make it line up properly. We can make it line up properly here with like uh, the, the walls here, right? Like we just have this as the wall instead uh, of like of this. So we get rid of this wall and this wall would go all the way down here and then not like meet up with this at all which kind of sucks but we'll figure it out right okay perfect okay so already it looks like normal sec is going to be absolutely gigantic which you know what is is kind of nice okay one two three four five i like that one two three four five i like that it's going to be gigantic okay i really do like that so one two three four four five okay that's perfect so that means that there's going to be like a uh, slightly bigger hallway down here. 
uh, which isn't the best, <laughs> as usual, but we're sort of just making use of the space that we have, right? We're trying to keep things as symmetrical as possible. Uh, we're gonna try to build all of this out and make this like uh, a super duper uh, prison with like a gigantic prison population. But also, we're still waiting for fucking death row to come and it looks like we've had some... In four hours time we have six Minsec arriving and then hopefully things will tip over and we'll have like a... Somebody coming in for death row as well. That would be ideal. It would be really nice to get an, like another death row... Uh, well, I say another. A, what Our first death row inmate in. Uh, with a view of actually executing them as well. It'll be a, it'll be a YouTube first for me, actually executing somebody in this game. Uh, it's never happened before, because last time I tried to do it, the game was bugged and it did not work, uh, which was the worst. Okay, so let's dismantle this servo. Let's also dismantle this door as well, because um, we don't need them here. Um, and then we can start uh, laying the foundation with our 42 grand uh, here as well. Actually, let's do that right now. It's brick building. Build it here like this. It's gonna cost us 14,000 um, bucks. But holy crap, our prison population is just gonna be absolutely enormous at the end of this. This is gonna be crazy. God, I can't wait. Um, what what are we doing with solitary here? Okay, we got, you know what? We can maybe just get like a, a big rung of solitary down here to make use of this uh, like sort of dead space. And we could do something similar that we have in max sec. We could just make them like uh, one square. You have to stand up in there. You can't go to the toilet. You can't, like, do anything. We're just going to install some grates on the floor so that if you do decide that you have to go to the toilet, it'll just run into the grates. And then, you know, it's uncomfortable to sleep on as well. And that should act as some sort of massive deterrent, right? That's the point. We want to have a huge deterrent so that people don't act up while they're inside the jail. That's the main thing. We don't want these ladies getting too um, complacent in here, thinking that they can just get away with uh, with murder and daylight robbery and all that kind of stuff, because it's not gonna happen, okay? If they decide to do the crime, then they're gonna decide that they have to do the time as well, and time, unfortunately, in this case, like I keep saying, is standing up on top of a grate inside, like a one-by-one -one room with a light on. It's uncomfortable, you can't sleep, and your urine will just flow freely into that grate and it probably stinks in there too because honestly I don't think we've hooked up those grates to like sewage or anything it just is it's just like some sort of like little I don't know concrete receptacle at the bottom that just gathers up all of the piss and the shit as well so basically I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure at this point we're breaking like a million conventions like out of Geneva and stuff like that but you know what None of those guys are ever going to come inspect this prison, okay? Because it runs so well, and all of these ladies are kept in check, there's never any need to come and inspect the prison. Nobody's worried about it, okay? They can just, like, uh, sentence and forget. They never have to deal with anything ever again. And that's the service that we provide here. And also, the cell phones with the app on it to, you know, keep the prisoners in check and keep them fit and stuff. But no SIM cards, so they can't just, like, make phone calls out. Have 10 prisoners pass the foundation education course is at 80%. That's nuts. That is, ab that's nuts. How the hell has this happened? So many people are passing the foundation education course. Nobody's ever going to pass the general education course, though, I don't think, sadly. Um, we've produced uh, five superior beds, so we're almost done that one as well. And we're 86% towards cell block D. And also the current radio broadcasts are getting our inmates riled up. That is also happening. And we just spent a whole bunch of money on tasers as well. Which, you know what? I don't, I don't begrudge that at all. I think the more tasers we can have, the better. We do have legendary prisoners in here. Most of them are in max sec. Actually, let's just take a look and see. How many... Oh my lord! We do have an ex-law enforcement here. And you know what's... You know what's crazy? We don't actually have any fucking protective custody right now. We got a snitch in here too! Oh, shit! Okay, we are gonna need some protective custody. Maybe this will be like our new protective custody, okay? We're gonna have to get these ladies out of here. Holy shit. For their own good. Okay, so let's go here. Okay, ex-law enforcement. You're in grave danger. Okay, let's put you into protective custody so you don't go here. These They're not gonna have uh, any assignments in terms of uh, where, they, where they stay until we sort this out. This is a snitch here as well. Holy crap, okay, this is close. We could have had a death on our hands. Can you imagine? 
We don't need a death on our hands. We lost a guard recently, and we don't want to be losing any more prisoners. That's for damn sure. Okay, let's get these ladies into the reception where they're going to be safe. We also have another woman with child who is unable to be assigned to a cell because uh, we don't have any family cells left in Minsec. That's another thing that we're going to have to sort out pretty soon. Okay, uh, protective custody can maybe just go in here. Like, it doesn't need to be big, right, at all. It just needs to, it just needs to be like a nice holding spot for them, uh, just for now. So let's go like this, okay? So let's say one, two, three, okay, and then the door. So this, these will be cells for protective custody, okay? Nice. We'll have a couple of cells here, and then we'll have one, two, three, four, five. Wait a second. I think the parole rooms have to be five by five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we can do that, that one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it doesn't leave a lot of space, but I don't think, again, I don't think we need a lot of space for protective custody. They don't need much, okay? They only need, like, a small little canteen as well. Uh, they'll have their own little canteen down here with, like, one table and, and chairs. Because there's only four prisoners in here, right? And then they'll have their own little parole room here as well. And then we'll just make this, like, uh, protective custody only. And then we can make this little hallway here staff only as well. So that it's just staff. They'll never be able to leave. And hopefully they'll have everything that they need, right? Okay? Um, and, and, and hopefully... With any luck, they won't be in here for a long time. Okay, let's do this. Let's get these ladies out of here. The only thing is, is that we're a little bit screwed because we don't have family cells for them. But it's just a safe place for them to be. Get their parole hearings done and then get the hell out of here. Because otherwise, they're just going to get killed. And nobody wants anybody getting killed inside the jail, for Christ's sake. Like, we've got enough problems in here already. The last thing we need is for people to be killed. Okay, we're going to just do like a clone here as well. Uh, we're gonna clone these cells here so that we have everything that we need. Okay, we're gonna do like this, that, that, and that. Perfect, okay. Let's get this little canteen set up. We're back to it. I can't believe it. I got rid of it because we didn't, we, we weren't getting any, and now all of a sudden we have two. And we have to make sure that they don't die. Where the hell is the canteen, for Christ's sake? Every time I look for it, it's right here, okay. Canteen. Okay, I'm gonna pause the game for a second. So we're gonna have the canteen, like, here, I guess, okay? And we're gonna have a uh, serving table, which we have a spare one. We'll have a serving table, okay? And then we, we're gonna have... It needs a table and a bench as well for it to actually work, okay? So let's have, like, a table... Um, I don't know, like, here, I guess? Oh my god, this is gonna be the fucking pits, actually. Like, it is barely gonna fit. Can you believe this? You know what? We're gonna stretch it all the way down to here. Okay, so we're going to have the table, and then we're going to have the bench here. And they have to sit facing the wall, okay? This is the price that they pay to stay alive, right? Okay, perfect. Okay, good. So we're going to have a serving table. It's indoor serving table, table, and bench. That should be fine. And then the kitchen is going to be able to cook them up some food. All they need is a canteen and a cell, okay? They're not going to have anything else. They're going to be nice and safe in here. So deployment-wise, we're going to say that this is protective custody only in here, okay? This is going to be a little parole room for them as well. God, we've really had to, like, put this one together quickly. But you know what? It's probably fine. Okay, let's get a light in here. We need some lights inside the canteen as well. Um, and then let's get, like, a light in this hallway up here like this and here too. Okay, and, of course, we're also going to need to have a door servo here too on this side. Uh, hooked up to some power. And then uh, we're going to need to have also in the parole room a visitor table. Okay. So this is good. So these protective custody people hopefully should just be in and out of here in like no time. That would be the best case scenario, right? Let's get these all hooked up to pipe. We're going to need some hot water in here as well. We might be able to steal some hot water from this tank. It looks like we probably will be able to. Although I don't think that this one's actually hooked up to like uh, like a big boy pipe. But that's something that we can do in a second, actually. We can just, like, hook this one up to a big boy pipe. Uh, much like this there. It's hooked up to a big boy pipe now, once the work is done. And then protective custody should be able to come in here and be safe from the rest of the prison population. Um, good. God. That was a really quick one. I don't know if it's the best use of... Fuck me. A fucking pickaxe, really? Where the hell is your cell? We're gonna have to search all of these goddamn toilets again, okay? We're searching all the toilets in normal sec because once again a pickaxe has been found, okay? We're not gonna take any chances here. We're also going to search the toilets in minsec as well, okay? Because I don't want anyone tunneling out of here. Is there- are there any current tunnels? 
I don't think there is. God, I feel like a bit frantic. Like I'm getting really stressed out with this game right now. Okay, search all the toilets, men. Make sure that there's no tunnels leading out of here. The money is still rolling in, if you can believe that. It's nuts. I, I love the fact that we make a lot of money in this in this prison. It's really nice. Okay, let's hook up this door servo here. Help these guys out. Help these guys get in and out. Do their... Uh, look at this. We found a fucking tunnel. Okay. It turns out that we have indeed found a tunnel. That we're gonna have to remove said tunnel. It looks like it was sprawling through many cells. Okay, good. Tunnel discovered. Have we discovered a tunnel in normal sec? So, who was... So that pickaxe must have been handed off from a normal sec prisoner to a min sec prisoner, right? Because now this is... What's going on here? There's no route to this sorting desk? How? There's gotta be, right? How is there no route to the sorting desk? I don't understand. Oh, she was the one in question. She was the one who was t trying to tunnel out of here. Okay, I get it. All right. So protective custody is... We're back with it. But hang on a second. Where are you going? No, you can't. Okay, you're not allowed to go. Okay, this is staff only now. Okay, get out of here. Go back to where you belong. You're gonna have to be escorted back. No. It's too dangerous, Eva, Sh Eva Shapiro. Okay, we're gonna punish you. We're gonna give you six hours of lockdown. Okay, good. You get back. You're not allowed out here, okay? You're not- you're, you have to stay in protective custody for your own good. Okay, there's gonna be people trying to kill you. We can't be doing it with it. We don't want anybody getting killed in here. Is there anyone else? Ex-law enforcement, you need to be escorted as well. Jesus Christ. It's dangerous, you're in- look at this person is deadly and probably has you in their sights as well, okay? So we have to get you over to protective custody as soon as possible. As soon as a guard is available, we'll get you escorted back to your new digs, okay? Ex-law enforcement, found weapons, solitary for two hours- oh, there's no solitary in here. There's- there's no- oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, she's not gonna be able to move until we have, like, a- a solitary. <laughs> um, well- I think the best place to put solitary is gonna be, unfortunately, like, right here in this, like, hallway, which, it, you know, doesn't, it does not bode well, does it? Like, this is just gonna be awful, okay? We're gonna have two solitary cells in here, okay? Check this out. If this is how it's gonna work, okay? It's not the best, but it'll work. Where's solitary, for Christ's sake? Solitary? Here, it's right here, okay. Solitary and solitary, okay. Do we have any spare solitary doors? It turns out, no, we don't. Oh, yeah, we do, we have six. That almost sounded like yabba dabba do, but not quite yabba dabba do. Okay, good. Solitary is, uh, is being taken care of. This is for protective custody. This is just in case they do sort of, like, get carried away and start causing problems and stuff. Okay, so deployment-wise, it looks like we're fine. We should be able to escort this prisoner for having a weapon on her to her new solitary cell inside of protective custody, which of course half worked but didn't like fully work. Okay, perfect. Protective custody is now neat and trim and the way it needs to be. Excellent. Okay, and the foundations are done here as well. So we can start demolishing these walls um, and then we can start maybe next episode building out this uh, new massive wing of normal sec, which will be great and, and make us a lot of money. Uh, intake has happened already. It looks like we had six minimum security prisoners turn up and it looks like our next intake will consist of one minimum security and two normal security. And this is because death row inmates are fairly rare, okay? We have we have it open for death row. We're all ready to go with death row, but nobody is still turning up for death row, which is fine. We'll, we'll get there eventually. And then, with any luck, um, and with lots of perseverance, somebody will fry uh, in this truly fantastic chair. Wow, look at this. It looks like a piece of art, doesn't it? It's like a, it's a complete work of art. Okay, excellent. All right, well, as usual, thanks for watching. Join me next time where we continue to chop and change and run this prison as efficiently as we have been. It's been great. Wow, I mean, there are no problems. We're juggling lots of different uh, classes of prisoners. We've got, like, uh, this woman who's still unable to be assigned to a cell, but Hannah Taylor, you're next on the priority list. We'll get you sorted out, trust me. And um, we now have a another protective custody wing for people that almost got killed but not quite killed, and now they're safe. And, um, and we'll keep fixing stuff, and it'll be great. Excellent. Well, as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time!